Okay, now we do the horn. I'm gonna use the uh, grey color, the same color as the tip of the leg and the hand. So I'm gonna start off by making a magic ring. So inside the magic ring, I'm gonna make nine single crochet. One, two, three, Seven, eight, nine, nine single crochet, two, four, six, eight, nine. So here you just pull tie, and there's no increase or decrease. You just do single crochet all around. Add your marker so that you know where's your starting point. So you're gonna single crochet all around until row seven. So there is no increase. So you should have nine stitches in every row. So three, four. row two so it kind of curl in you just bend it outwards and you continue for you continue until row seven single crochet all around no increase and you have nice stitches all around and in the end you will get something like this so this is actually seven rows of single crochet all around and I add a little bit stuffing, not so much, just a bit, and leave a long tail for sewing. Okay, now we're gonna do the ears. We're gonna start off by making a magic ring. So, in the magic ring, I'm gonna make eight single crochet. Two, four, six, oh sorry, <laughs> extra one. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, eight single crochet. And now row two to row three is a single crochet all around. There's no increase or decrease. Is this row two? You can turn it outward. So 
So row three, again, single crochet all around and hide this tail inside. Okay, now row three, same thing, single crochet all around. So you should have eight stitches in row three. Okay, this is how it looks like after three rows of single crochet all around. So row four, we're going to do one increase. We're going to do single crochet. This means the next stitch is a single crochet. Let me add my marker. The next stitch is an increase. And then single crochet. And increase. Single crochet. Increase. Single crochet, increase. So this row 4, we should have 12 stitches. And now for row 5, we're going to do single crochet all around. So you're going to have 12 stitches as well. Okay, this is row 5. Row 5, we have 12 stitches. So now we're going to go to row 6. Row 6, we're going to do another increase. Row 6 is going to do 2 single crochet followed by an increase. So 1, let me add my marker. Two single crochet followed by increase. So one, two, increase. One, two, increase. And the last set, one, two, increase. So this is how it looks like. And next is from row 7 until row 13. You're going to do single crochet all around. And you're going to get 16 stitches in every row. So it will going to look like this. This is halfway through. So you do until row 13. You will, you, will, you will look like this. 
So once you reach row 13, this is row 13. Oops, sorry. This is row 13. You, the ear, we do not need stopping. You bend it, bend it. And do single crochet across. So after you do single crochet across, make sure you leave a long tail for sewing. Okay, it'll look like this. So when you sew it on to the head, you make sure you bend it a bit so it look more like an ear instead of flat like this. You can if you want it you prefer flat like this but i prefer it to be a little bit curl so here i'm going to leave a long tail and this is how the ear will look like okay now we're going to make the arm we're going to start off by making a magic ring So in the magic ring, I'm going to make 8 single crochet Okay, it's single crochet in a magic ring. Next, we're going to do increase. We started off with 8, and now we do increase, so we should have 16 in this row. Increase means 2 single crochet in the same stitch, every stitch, 2 single crochet. Okay, 16 stitches, uh, pull this tight, oops, okay, so from now, from row 4, oh, sorry, row 3 now, row 3, we're going to do on the single crochet on the back loop, this is the front loop, this is the back loop. This is the front. This is the front. This is the front. This is the back. So we're going to do single crochet on the back loop. There's no increase. This is a single crochet on the back loop. So we'll still have 16 stitches.
So after this back loop, it's gonna look like this. You should be able to bend it this way. So now row four until row seven. We're gonna do a single crochet all around. This time we're gonna use both loop. Oops, got stuck. Oh. So this time round, we're going to use both loop. From row 4 until row 7. Which you will still have 16 stitches in every row. Okay, this is how it looks like. So after this, I'm going to slip stitch to the side here and change it to the other color like this so here like this then you're gonna change it to the lighter color and from the lighter color from row 8 this is row 8 this is 7 so from row 8 until row 23 you're gonna do single crochet all around there's no increase no decrease so you're gonna get 16 stitches in every row and you're gonna add stuffing only up to here not so much the stuffing is only up to here and you bend here you bend this part here and single crochet oops I missed a stitch okay you bend it and you do a single crochet across just like the ear after this you're gonna give a long tail or sewing just seal the whole part all the way across and leave a long tail for sewing and make sure you pull this out and make sure you do two okay now for the nose part I'm gonna use this uh, pink color we're gonna start off by making a chain 10 okay this is my habit of making a knot so after this knot, chain 10. Okay, you chain 10. And now, the second chain from the hook, we're gonna do single crochet. This is the first chain from the hook, not this one, this one. This is the first chain from the hook. This is the second chain from the hook. We're going to do single crochet. Or you can do it on the bum side as well. Because we are going to work around. So when we do on the bum side, this side will show like this. Whereas if you work only on one strand, the other side will only, you only have one strand. So it's up to you. Doesn't really matter. Okay, second stitch from the hook. We do single crochet. see the bum side when you turn it you can see there's a bum up there that's the one we are using you can use the one here if you want but I find that once you pull this side maybe you pull two strands here you only have one so I prefer to work on the bum side Oh, 
Oops. Okay, this is how it will look like. You will have seven stitches here, two, four, six, seven. So especially for beginners, in case you get lost, you put one here, one, 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 two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the first one. You put a marker there. This is the seventh. Just add a marker there, just in case. So make sure you have seven, including this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including this two marker. So now at the last chain here on the bottom side as well, I'm going to do three single crochet. So once you do three single crochet, it kind of turn back. And now it turn back, we're going to do single crochet. And the next seven stitch. This one is the last one that you did three. So the next one should be here. So now it's easier to work with because now we are using two strands. It's stronger instead of one you might cause a hole here so hide the tail oops in a minute let me get this tight because this is going to be the nose it's gonna be visible right in front of the face so you can add a marker here to show that this is one two three is the turning this is the one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and this is the last stitch. The last stitch here, make two single crochet. One, two. So here all in, you should have 20 stitches. Okay, now let me show you again. Here we have 7 stitches. Here we have 3. So 7, 3 become 10. Now here we have 7, 17. And in the end, we make 2 single crochet. So here, you should remember we did we start from the second chain from the hook so this first one is our turning so this turning acts as a single crochet so this corner here is considered as three so seven three seven three you're gonna have 20 stitches and so it's best you add your marker to show where is your seven and where is the turning so here you have two actually this is three so now to go to the next row We are going to do two single crochet. The turning here, we're going to do two single crochet, two single crochet, two single crochet. Means increase. Whereas the chain seven here, we are continuing going to do single crochet. Just single crochet. So now this one is considered our round two. So the first 
increase we should do on here you see the marker before the marker the stitch before the marker is actually one of our turning so do increase that one two two single crochet in the same stitch and just add your marker to remind yourself this is the starting point so we did two and now we're going to do single crochet on all these seven stitches add your marker again so that you know when we start to turn Okay, this is the seventh. I'll add back my marker. So the turning point here, every turning point here, I'm going to do an increase. So there are three stitches here. So every stitch, I'm going to do two single crochet. So which means now the turning has six single crochet. Here we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. Place back the marker. Okay, add back the marker and now the balance two we already did an increase here so now the balance two we're gonna do increase as well so this row we should have 26 stitches so it's gonna look like this you check and see if you have any holes because this is going to be the nose you're gonna be right in front of the face okay now row three or round three this is the starting point and on this stitch we're gonna do two single crochet let me add my marker I'm going to do two single crochet on the same stitch and now from here to here we have seven so this one plus here we will have nine so we're going to do nine single crochet Okay, so we have nine single crochet. The next four, the next four stitches here, we're going to do increase. This means two single crochet here, another two single crochet here. This is the third one, and this is the fourth one. 
And from here to here, I should have nice stitches. We did one increase here, so I still have three more left to do increase. One increase. Two increase. And the last increase. And in total, you should have 34 stitches. So after this, row 4 until 7, 4 until 7, you do single crochet all around. So you're going to have 34 stitches. So you make sure you put the first marker, the rest you can forget it. This first marker is to remind you where's your starting point. So you're going to do from row 4 to row 7. And I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 7. Okay, this is how it look like. I'm gonna add a stitch here. Remember the turning point? Somewhere near the turning point. Let me see, maybe it should be higher. Just leave the tail there. I will tie a knot. Let's see, because it's a big cow. Should I make it small? Maybe like this. Oops. Yes. Which means if it's here, you do not go straight down, you go a bit diagonal. Here, I suppose. Well, it's up to you how you want it to look like. But I think like this looks cute. You can add two safety eyes here which looks like the nostril or you can make you can sew a bigger larger pot black spot here but i think this would look kind of cute and when you assemble it onto the base here make sure it's just right below the eyes because it's kind of flimsy now kind of soft now you sew this way first then add stuffing so i i think it's best that you sew three quarter way around you sew from here or oh, since my and my trick is here my yarn is here so i think i'll sew until here and leave a small gap here then add stuffing and plumb this up once you plumb it up, use your finger, plumb it up nicely and continue to seal the, the rest. You can't add stuffing now because it, it, you, it, the stuffing will be running around so it's best that you crochet or you stitch three quarter way through then add the stuffing. So here This part here, the tail and the tail, and just tie a knot so that it won't come off easily. Now you can start assembling everything the nose, the head, the hand, and the ears, and the horn. Complete the head first, then connect it to the body, and then the head. Or oh, this is up to you how you want it to be. I'm glad I got this line here. At least it looks more like a cow, right? Okay, let's do some assembling. Okay, let me show you. You make sure this is facing the correct way I want it to be like this and not like this 
and my ending is here so normally what I do is I do not add pin I just roughly measure it's around here I will go through the body here and go straight to over this side do you think that is the correct uh, spot I just go through here and make one stitch here so this stitch is kind of like hold it in place then I do not need pin so from here hold the bottom here and make sure when you sew the first time round when you sew it's kind of difficult because it's kind of soft so rough idea roughly like this and make sure it's on this line and you start to sew I would go in through the stitch stitch by stitch here and come out the other side and go to the next stitch then take a look and see if it's in the correct spot you think this is right and you proceed and you continue so every stitch here i just go through like this so i'll go through here and come out and come out in the next stitch if you can't come out in the next stitch if it's too tall then you can come out one stitch away so we're gonna look like this oops it's not easy because all this stuffing will start coming out so you're gonna do this stitch by stitch this way you will not miss anything and everything will look very neat just go through just like single crochet you go through every stitch here 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 all the way and once you are around here at stuffing now it's kind of difficult because the stuffing might move around so I would prefer to close up here first because this nose is kind of straight here so I just follow this line the line near the eyes here I just follow this line I come back here and then I add stuffing so once I add stuffing it kind of plumb up then here it's easier to sew so I hope you get what I mean so I'll leave you to it if you think it's kind of difficult to come out here you can poke it here come out through here and put through again I mean since we have not sealed the head you can actually go through here so I'll come back to you once I have this uh, secure okay I'll show you how I assemble the horn it's best that you assemble all this before we seal here so in case anything I bring the yarn out here and tie it to the tail of any of the tail the balance tail so this is how it look like I think it's a bit crooked uh, it's okay it's an army gumarumi <laughs> Okay, for the horn, the horn is kind of small, but I still do the same way. So, once you get the spot that you think is right, I would go across. I would put across.
and I'll come back here underneath so it is kind of secure so once it is secure just like the horn I mean just like the nose I'm gonna poke it this way it's kind of difficult to go through one stitch here sometime because especially when they are reduced and uh, increase it's kind of tight you can actually go all the way to the opposite side you go all the way to the opposite side and go underneath again so once you go underneath it you can go to the left or the right it doesn't really matter because we're going to make a few more rounds if you have done on the left in the next round you're going to do on the right so you're going to poke it here like this and go to the far opposite make sure it's within and not away too far So you see, it's kind of invisible. You can't see the stitches. So once I'm over this side, because I haven't sealed the whole thing yet, you can still see it like this. You go through the bottom and make a stitch. You go through the bottom and you go through. It depends whether you want to go to the left or the right. And you come back to the opposite again and do the same you just see whichever stitch it's not there yet you just make one stitch you poke it down to the head and come out right opposite it's easier this way rather than stitch by stitch here and I find it faster too. So this is how I assemble the horn. You do the same for the ear too. And let me get this right. Depending who you're going to give this to. If you're going to give this to a young child. It's best that you do a few more round. You just... Take a look at it and see if there's any spot that you missed. You can go ahead and do a stitch. Okay, once you are satisfied that it will not come out, you go to the bottom, the way bottom. You double check first if there's anywhere that you might need another stitch so you think this is all right you come up from the bottom we have a lot of tail left over here that's high enough that's what i always do Tie a knot and leave the balance inside. Unless, of course, you want to save these bits for some other amigurumi and just hide it inside. And you do the same for the ear. The ear, make sure you fold it a bit so that when you sew it here, it will not be flat like this up to you some might find it cute to have ears flat like this but i prefer to have it a little bit curl so same thing i will check and see where is my yarn where will the yarn be it's here so i'm gonna move my way to the end here and here i'll make a stitch straight away to here and hold this part so at least the ear will stay here not really intact but at least it will stay in this corner and then i will go stitch by stitch just like the horn 
And so once you assemble here, because it is of the same color, you can actually hide your yarn anyway. Or you can just pull it to the head here, the bottom here, and tie a knot. So I'll come back to you once I have both ears assembled. Okay, I've assembled the hand. Since I have not assembled the head yet, you can actually use your needle to go through here. Here and come out from the inside. So it kind of like this. And all the way through and fro, through and fro. And then you make sure you leave one row below. One row below. This row is to connect it to the head. So the hand It's best that you sew it before you connect the head so that it goes in and out of here like this in and out it goes in and out this way but make sure when you stitch you follow back the lines here so that it doesn't look so obvious that you are it looks like crochet still looks like the single crochet and now you check and see which part you want it to be the front and which one you want to be the back and you attach the head if you want you can get some pin safety pin just to hold on to it because the head is kind of big if this is the correct spot Just pin roughly both sides Just roughly, it's here And if possible You hold on to it you can because there's 30 stitches there and just make sure it's this is with this so on the back loop you have a front loop here and a back loop here a front loop and a back loop go for the back loop Let me check and see if it's should be about that even though if it's a little bit out it's okay so the back loop and the back loop here because there are 30 stitches here and 30 stitches here so we're gonna go stitch by stitch can go two round if you want and slowly it will be connected and if you feel that you need to do one more round you can do one more row This won't be easy when you are almost reaching the end. And you just take a look and see if it's the correct spot. So, when you pull tight, it will look like this It just look like Single crochet So I'll continue Now come back to you With the end result 
and later you can add some gadgets if you want you can add a button here or a flower here or a sling bag or some skirt or blouse <laughs> so I'll come back to you once I get this connected okay just now I did the front loop and the front loop it will look like this so since the head is kind of heavy so I do one more round but this time I'm going to use the back loop and the back loop so this is how the front loop and the front loop look like it has a gap like this I think it only works on smaller amigurumi this one the head is kind of big so I'm going to do two one on the front loop now on the back loop so I'm going to go this way and down this way so when you pull tight it kind of look like this instead of like this so I have a bit more here you see the gap if I only do on the back loop but even if I do on the front loop only, it's still... So it's best you do on the back loop first, and now do on the front loop. It'll be very secure. So long it looks neat, it doesn't really matter which way you follow. And this should be the last one. So feel the neck and see. I think it's a little bit to the left. Okay. Once you are here, up to you whether you want to do one more round. If you're going to give this to a young child and you think you need to secure it one more round, please go ahead. If not, now you can just bring this yarn to just about anywhere. And just follow the stitches and bring it up here. But you make sure you do not pull here too tight. You can bring it up here. I mean, just to hide the yarn. So we bring some here and some here. Maybe some here. You just follow back the stitch. Bring it back down here. And do not pull too tight. Or oh, there will be a dent here. And you bring it down to anywhere you think there is a hole you want to cover up. You can bring it to the body. So I guess it's very secure now. So now it's the time, if you see there's anywhere you think you have a big hole that you want to cover up or there's some sort of mistake you did before this, you can cover it up. That's why sometimes it's good to leave a long tail. So now the balance, you just hide it inside the body I'm not gonna make a tail for this amigurumi because I'm giving it to a young child you want you can make a tail a small tail here 
I like to hide the yarn back inside instead of just cutting it out. So here it is. This is how the cow look like. So thank you for watching. Hope you like this pattern as much as I do. It's just a simple cow pattern. And do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next post.